Welcome back to The Great Outdoor Show. We want to thank all of our viewers who have checked out our videos on our Facebook page, Fox 56 Wolf TV, or on the internet at fox56.com. Well, now you can watch the entire series on our YouTube channel, Fox 56 WOLF TV. Time now to check out our last state park of the season in Sullivan County. Hello, I am Bill Coker, the park manager at World's End State Park. World's End State Park is 780 beautiful acres in north central Pennsylvania. Many reasons people come to World's End State Park, uh, the, the view, the, the scenic value of the place. There's backpacking on the Loyal Sock Trail, which is a 59 mile trail. We're also surrounded, we're only 780 acres, but we're surrounded by 13,000 acres of Loyal Sock State Forest that is uh, well maintained for recreational and for um, the, the reason we have the beautiful forest around us. World's End State Park has many opportunities for overnight camping. The 70 site modern campground is a very popular uh, campground. Uh, about half the sites are electric. Um, we have 10 pet, pet friendly sites in, in the campground. The uh, other very popular overnight facility is our cabin area. It's a rustic cabin area that was uh, built by the CCCs back in the uh, 30s and 40s. Um, there are 19 cabins they are uh, used all year round and full most weekends year round. World's End State Park has a beautiful, refreshing Loyal Sock Creek that runs right through the middle of it. And the swimming holes um, are, are numerous and always cool and, and very refreshing. World's End State Park has a primary beach area that is a dammed off section of the Loyal Sock Creek. It also helped name the park as Whirls, at one point it was named Whirls End State Park and there was a whirlpool in it. You don't necessarily see it in normal swimming conditions. Um, you see it from the bridge when we have flood conditions, but um, when you swim, swim in this particular swimming hole in the uh, adult end or the, the deeper end, if you swim downstream, you're actually swimming against the current. World's End State Park has many trails, many hiking opportunities. We have 29 miles of trail in the 780 acres of World's End State Park. Varying degrees of difficulty, all of them have steep sections and, and can be pretty demanding. They have uh, rocky, rocky sections. Um, it, it is a tough, tough terrain. Um, at Canyon Vista, we're 600 feet above um, the elevation that is at the office or visitor center. At World's End State Park, trout fishing is very popular. We have the Loyal Sock Creek that is uh, stocked heavily by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. And we also have a few uh, tributaries that have native breeding populations of trout in, in them. World's End State Park has four vistas in the park. One being Loyal Sock Canyon Vista is where we're located right now. This one is the only one out of the four that you can drive to. Uh, the rest of them you have to hike um, on a High Rock Trail to get the High Rock Vista, World's End Trail to get the World's End Vista, and Butternut Trail to get the Butternut Vista. All the vistas are different. Loyal Sock Canyon Vista is the uh, most impressive. It shows the whole 70, 780 acres of World's End State Park, um, basically ridge top to ridge top in the Loyal Sock Creek Gorge. World's End State Park has a great unique opportunity to do some scrambling around for the kids on rocks at the Rock Garden, which is located just behind the Loyal Sock Canyon Vista. World's End State Park has a beautiful visitor center that has lots of educational displays, interpretive displays in the office. At the visitor center, we also have an environmental education specialist, Jane Swift, who does great programs on nat native plants and uh, lots of plants and even uh, edible plant talks. 
We're in the backyard of the park office, visitor center, and we're looking at the gardens out here, which is a butterfly garden put in by a Silver Award Girl Scout, a bird feeding station, flowering garden, sun garden, uh, native species, and a shade garden, all native species. When you're done at the visitor center and at the gardens out back, you can walk right down to the world's best snack shop. You can cool down with a nice ice cream on a hot day. World's End State Park gets its name from the seven mountain ranges that kind of converge on World's End State Park. And the pioneers calling it on, on Pioneer Road, which is one of our trails, the uh, end of the world. Come out and enjoy World's End State Park in beautiful central Pennsylvania. We're a short drive from Williamsport and Wilkes-Barre. You can get more information from DCNR website and also from the visitpaparks.com website. Coming up next, mountain biking, the trails.